Captain Abraham Tror's proactive efforts to address food security concerns take center stage. Agriculture is critical to Burkina Faso's development because it is the backbone of the country's economy and provides a vital source of income for many citizens. Tror's hands-on approach, as evidenced by his visits to farms and agricultural regions, demonstrates a strong commitment to understanding the complexities of agricultural production and implementing effective strategies to boost productivity and resilience. Tror's work with farmers and stakeholders on the ground demonstrates a bottom-up approach to addressing food security issues. Trory's direct interaction with those involved in agricultural activities demonstrates a strong interest in hearing their perspectives, identifying key challenges, and developing tailored solutions. Trory's initiatives aim to empower local communities, strengthen rural economies, and promote sustainable agricultural practices that not only ensure food security, but also contribute to larger socioeconomic development goals. President Chor's tour of farms in Burkina Faso's Kajo and Baker regions demonstrates his commitment to understanding and addressing the challenges that agricultural communities face throughout the country. Chor met directly with local farmers in Kajo, one of Burkina Faso's most prominent farming regions, listening to their concerns while also celebrating their successes. Chor gained first-hand knowledge of the barriers to agricultural productivity and the aspirations that propel the farming community forward by immersing himself in their daily lives. This personal interaction not only demonstrated Chor's commitment to grassroots engagement, but also laid the groundwork for targeted interventions to assist farmers and strengthen agricultural resilience. The visit to Bager, marked by a special interaction with agricultural students, highlights Chori's recognition of the importance of nurturing the next generation of agricultural leaders. Engaging with students who are actively gaining practical experience in the agricultural sector provides Trori with a glimpse into the future of Burkina Faso's agricultural landscape. By fostering dialogue and sharing knowledge, Trori aims to inspire and empower young agriculturalists, ensuring they are equipped with the skills and resources needed to contribute effectively to the nation's agricultural development. Overall, these farm visits serve as a testament to Chori's hands-on leadership style and his unwavering commitment to driving positive change in Burkina Faso's agricultural sector. If we spend our time asking for food or going to pay at home, the others can do what they want when they want, and I believe that you understand very well, and we will make you models for so that you can be a showcase who will attract others. During his farm visits, President Chor witnessed firsthand the dedication and hard work of farmers, which highlighted his appreciation for their contributions to Burkina Faso's food security. Chor gained valuable insights into farmers' daily activities, as well as the challenges they face and the resilience they demonstrate in their pursuit of agricultural excellence. This personal interaction allowed Chor to empathize with farmers' struggles while also reinforcing his commitment to supporting initiatives aimed at increasing agricultural productivity and sustainability. Chor's interaction with students also highlighted the importance of practical training in preparing the next generation of agricultural leaders. Chor recognized the importance of hands-on experience in shaping future agricultural professionals through his interactions with students enrolled in agricultural studies. This interaction demonstrated the government's commitment to investing in human capital and providing young agriculturalists with the skills and knowledge required to drive innovation and progress in the agricultural sector. President Tror announced measures to strengthen support for the incubator program in response to his observations and insights gained during farm visits. This initiative, which aims to promote innovation, entrepreneurship, and sustainable agricultural practices, reflects Chor's proactive approach to meeting the changing needs of Burkina Faso's agricultural industry. Chor's decision to strengthen the incubator program demonstrates the government's commitment to promoting agricultural growth and development while also ensuring a sustainable future for farmers and agri-entrepreneurs. Germany's Minister for Economic Cooperation and Development paid a significant diplomatic visit to Burkina Faso this week as part of a larger tour of the Sahel region. The visit is particularly significant because it is the first official European ministerial visit to the country since the recent military takeover.
The German minister stated that diplomatic channels remain open, despite recent political developments. The visit demonstrates Germany's willingness to engage with Sahel nations, emphasizing the value of dialogue and cooperation in addressing the region's complex challenges. Minister Scholz met with senior government officials, civil society representatives, and other stakeholders to discuss a variety of topics, including security cooperation and development assistance. We would prefer to work with democracies around the world, but the reality is that the majority of people live in autocratic societies. So, we'll have to deal with them too. We want to combat climate change. We want to ensure that people can stay at home and do not need to migrate. And with all of these questions, we need to work together around the world. That means we must also engage in dialogue with governments such as those in Burkina Faso. That is not easy, but it is the reality we must face. In response to the growing demand for sustainable agriculture practices and the need to address food insecurity, a comprehensive training program has been launched to educate farm students about the cultivation of sustainable organic food. This initiative aims to restore soil fertility through the use of biofertilizers and promote water-efficient farming methods. The project, funded by Germany Jobs and Aid Against Hunger, aims to provide participants with the knowledge and skills they need to adopt environmentally friendly farming practices. Germany has always been interested in Burkina Faso. In 2019, German Chancellor Angela Merkel visited Burkina Faso as part of a Sahel tour that included stops in Niger and Mali. That is not easy. There are no black and whites to work with. We understand that if we leave the region, there will be space for others, and we cannot abandon this region to the Russians. We need to stay involved. We need these development corporations because there can be no security without development. We must address the people's problems, including why they come into contact with terrorists and why they have no other options. That means investing in jobs and the people's futures. That is exactly what we are doing with the Sahel Alliance in the region. That's a clear reaction. That means we want to remain engaged. We want to be the best partners for the regions. The foreign minister of Burkina Faso explains that cooperation with Russia is a matter of supply and demand. Russia is a partner who respects our decisions, and the Russian proposal meets our requirements. These are the population's needs, and I believe our partnerships should increasingly fit into this framework. Germany's Minister for Economic Cooperation and Development's visit to Burkina Faso during the ongoing Sahel crisis emphasizes the importance of ongoing engagement and collaboration in addressing the region's challenges. Despite recent political upheavals, the visit sends a positive signal that diplomatic channels are still open and that the international community is committed to promoting stability, development, and prosperity in the region. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe so more people can see our content.